Makoko community in Lagos has become synonymous with slum dwelling. Many organizations and celebrities have been there reportedly to make donations so the people will have a better life. But did you know that children born there are at a great risk of growing up uneducated right here in Lagos State? Uchechuku uh, Ogwehi Daniel explores education in the community on water. Doizen Best Academy has catered to the educational needs of students of Makoko, the Lagos community on water, for 21 years. It is run by the proprietor Setonji Padonu and has between 130 to 200 children enrolled at any given time. The school could be open or short, depending on the availability of donations and support from individuals and organizations. Uh, I said that this school was started from the scratch simply because there's no one to help. Nobody, nobody, no government comes here to help out. And even nobody even come here to do something, whether the community raise funds to help. No. It is true the, the uh, uh, change that I've been getting from, the, uh, from the, these people, the amount they are paying for them as school fees. That's what I've been using to maintain the school. Parents who bring their children to Doizen Best pay a daily stipend for tuition as many families are unable to afford the total amount required at the end of a term. This is the, where we have been finding problems in this community because in other schools, some based on per year, some based per term. But here, we try to make it per term for about less of about 10 years. We couldn't, couldn't make it. I did not make it at all. I'd have to change to daily collection. Yes, it is daily collection now. But my, let's say the nursery class to, from one to nursery class and from one to, to three, they pay 100 naira per day. Now from primary three to four, they pay 150 naira per day. Four to six, that's how we've been doing it. And I've used, with this one too, I have to, I have to manage it. I have to manage it. Got to have seven teachers. The classrooms are small and children learn in cramped conditions. More structure is needed to improve their learning experience. There is little or no infrastructure available for proper defecation by the students. Daniel Godono teaches English language at the school. It's no easy task as his students are accustomed to communicating in their indigenous language, Egun. It has been really a challenging time for us, especially the environment we live in. Most students in our school mostly speak Egun. And we actually look for a way to teach them how to speak English. Though it's not, it's not that easy because based on uh, the kind of the background they came from, that's actually where the problem is coming from. So we actually try as much as possible to make sure that we, whatever thing we say to these children, we make it simple. And this English has been one of the challenges we are facing right here. But by God's grace, we are trying our possible best to make sure that they actually uh, may learn these languages very well. Though not saying that they should abandon their own native language, but actually to just make them to understand that even though they are, uh, they, I mean, they, they, they are speaking their language out there also, there can be also other languages they can also be speaking anywhere they find themselves. This English is, is something that is very important for them to, 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 to speak. The community is undereducated and there are few textbooks which most families can hardly afford. Students get by with borrowing from people. Despite these challenges, residents of Makoko acknowledge that education is important and holds the key to a better community. 13-year-old Joseline Awansu, a primary six pupil, is the brightest student in the school. She loves her school and tells me her favorite subject is English. My school is very beautiful. Like I like it. I don't know, I just like it. Today we used to speak again on Wednesday. Like if we are on break and we are playing, I used to speak again. Throughout our time here, there was no sign of power supply, and electricity from the national grid is something Joseline desperately wishes they have, as it will help them make use of the laptops that were donated to the school. We need electricity, fun, and ties, and our road too is bad. Our school, they are, like, they are really trying for us to the extent that we have laptops. 
and we are learning laptop too. The struggle to educate children in Makoko doesn't end with these challenges. There is no secondary school in the community, and those who complete primary education here have to travel if they wish to further their education. Steady donations and a proper education plan could change all that. Uchechi Ogwehi Daniel, reporting for Plus TV okay. Africa. Clap for yourself, everybody. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.